All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, regular expressions, remove white space from start and end. All right. So sometimes white space characters around strings are not wanted, but are there. Typical processing of strings is to remove the white space at the start and end of it. So we're gonna write a regex and use the appropriate string methods to remove white space at the beginning and end of strings. So note we're gonna have, pardon me, so note this string.prototype. So basically the trim method will not work, will work here, pardon me, but we need to use, pardon me, but we will need to complete this challenge using regular expressions. Okay, so that being said, First things first, let's target this, and then we'll target this stuff, and then we'll target this right here, all right? So let's target the white space first by having the uh, capture group of the S plus, like that. And then, hmm, hmm, hmm. Actually, how about this? Let's do the, ca let's do the thing where we do the capture group with the or. So let's capture group this, and let's say the white space at the beginning with the carrot, how about that? And then let's do the pipe in between this one, and let's do another backslash S with the plus sign, and then let's do the dollar sign after that so that it targets the white space at the end. So basically it's targeting the white space at the beginning and the white space at the end. And then we're going to change it with a match, all right? So we'll say, uh, no, no, with the replace method, let's do that. So let's say hello dot replace, and then we'll say WS regex for the regex, and then we'll replace it with empty string like that. And let's come down here and say console.log results, and check out what we got. So we got hello world, and let's highlight the whole thing. And so there is still space at the end of it. What's up with that? Uh, what's up with that? Don't forget the G for the global search. How about that? And let's highlight it again and you see it's gone, okay? So we had to put the G because it'll only match the first one if we don't have the global search on there. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. And so that's the end of that. We're back at the JavaScript algorithms and data structure main page. We just finished the regular expression section and now we're on to debugging. So we're gonna get on to this and the next one and we'll see you next time.